Hey guys, I'm Wanda and welcome to Crazy Days. Today it is Betty's Box of Blessings. We are going to be talking about this during this um, holiday season. We call it Christmas. Lots of people just want to have a holiday. So I'm not really a good speaker on this kind of stuff. Don't want to get into political things, but for us it's Christmas. For some it's Hanukkah. There's different... Um, names different things for what people believe so now it it's a holiday season so we incorporate everybody's um it's a holiday season and betty's box of blessings the power of the cross the main reason for the season it doesn't matter what you call it or what part of it you celebrate or whatever for us as christians or born again believers it is the power of the cross. A lot of people wear a cross or they have a cross. Um, not sure. I've moved mine. I had a cross here. I took it down because I wanted to put some of this stuff up for Christmas. I have the lights and the little um, nativity scene that was a Christmas card that somebody sent me. But usually I have a cross right here. Um, lots of times we wear a cross earrings, cross necklace, bracelets, rings. We have them hanging in our house. We have them put everywhere, crosses. But do we ever think about the meaning behind the power of the cross? Those crosses don't have any power. They're just a symbol. But the actual cross, that's what this is about, the power of the cross. And we're going to use 1 Corinthians 1.18. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to those of us who are being saved, it is the power of God. And Paul said that the message of the cross, not the cross itself, but the message that it brings. And Jesus died on that cross. Lots of people only see Jesus dying on the cross. They don't see the next part, the resurrection. And the important part is the resurrection. He had to die. He had to say, it is finished, because he had a plan. He had to finish that plan in order to be resurrected. And our faith in that is what gets us through day to day. Now, we're going to talk about what's in here. But first, a Christmas card from Betty Spots of Blessings. This way, I see everybody on here. I know who they are. And... To meet Thomas and Betty is kind of famous for me because I've been associated with Betty Spots Blessings for maybe three or four years now. And I get to see Betty and Thomas and the whole gang in a Christmas card and they actually all signed it. I thought that was pretty special for us. Um, this time there's a card in here, Mama's Thoughts. She's been doing this and you can frame these out. I've got two or three of them that I like and I've got stacked up in order to frame later for, for um, the cabin. But it says, take courage, he has already won, John 16, 33. And just these little reminders around your house is awesome. And sometimes I stick these in people's gifts when um, they order on Etsy or I'm sending a special gift bag or we do a, a giveaway. Some of these prints go in that that you can frame out. The worship CD. It's 15 of the most favorite worships of this time. And I love them because I listen to K-Love lots of times. And K-Love is my radio station that I can listen to. And a lot of these are on there all the time. And when we're at the cabin, I can listen to the CD because I can't pick K-Love up on my radio station. Even with Danny touching it. Um... The cards. They sent a variety of cards this time. They are always from Dayspring. Now, they send these little um, bookmarks that go with the cards. And it is a variety of birthday, well wishes, sympathy, get well. You know, the whole nine yards in the cards this time. This one. The power of the cross. This is just a... You know how people do stress balls? Why not? Cross. And it has the Bible verse, Be strong and courageous, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Isn't that beautiful? And it gives you something to hold on to. 
in this day and time when there's things going on and people are very sick, what if you had this just in the hospital to help build your strength? When you're at home, sick, pick it up and think about what the power of the cross is. Not what this is, the power. It's a reminder. And it has a little book, The Power of the Cross, and in it, it um, talks about everything to do with the cross, the resurrection, the Holy Spirit, the whole nine yards. Great little gift ideas. And these gift ideas, guys, I forget to mention most of the time, but Fairhope Direct has an online store. And you can get a lot of these gift ideas from them. You don't have to buy the whole box. You can buy individual pieces. If you like um, the cards, the day spring cards, you can order only the cards. Um, if you like the little tear sheets, now I love the tear sheets. Um, they send a, a book of them off and on. And I tear a sheet out, write a little note, and throw it in people's Etsy order sometimes. I'm out right now. But... Um, I love the tear sheets, um, Bible covers, Bibles. They have everything you can think of. Just order it individually, and it is Fairhope. Dot. Let's see. Fairhopedirect.com. I'll put it in the description too, so you can find it. Um, prayers for an anxious heart. Now this is a journal, and. It was inspired by Philippians 4, 6 through 7 to help strengthen your heart and connection to the Creator. And it's just where you can, it gives you a Bible verse and different a uh, little bit different writing and you get to write every day. So, He loves me. This comes from Romans 8, 38 and 39 and it is the this one different versions each one is different sometimes it's a King James sometimes it's the CEV sometimes ESV NLT NIV they use different versions in each one so it's not always King James but you might can look here at Fairhope Direct and see if for if you want just King James quotes they probably have those too in journals um, I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor demons, nor our fears for today or our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that has, is revealed in Jesus Christ our Lord. And then... The writing below says, Lord, these ver verses cover every obstacle my imagination can come up with, thinking that you don't love me. The enemy tells me that I have to be good enough to earn your love, but that is such a lie. He tries to convince me that I'll never measure up and that I can't expect you to love someone like me. I failed more often than I can remember. I've missed so many opportunities to tell others what you've done for me. I might as well deny I even knew you, but I judge others or I treat them like they aren't worthy. I want people to see you in me, but my failures get in the way. Thank you for loving me anyway. And I think we all can say that, everybody. Uh, be honest with yourself. You judge people whether you expect to judge them. I always do. I know I do. And after I've said something, I'm like, hmm. So how can God love us, you know? You don't love me because of what I've done. And that is absolutely amazing because we all have done things that we regret. You love me because of who you are and you've proven that love by giving your life to save me. Help me always to feel assured of your love so I can pour it out on others, amen. And then you have your place to write. And to me, that is so true. We just, Danny and I just wanna to express to you our love that we love God too. We ha we love this um, lifestyle, but we also love to share with those that don't love this lifestyle. We have many people that watch us that don't homestead. And there's no reason that you can't be a part of God's world too and know that this love that he has for you, even though you've messed up, you can do it.
God loves you. Let me show you something. To me, this is just amazing. People ask all the time, what should I do? I'm not a Bible reader. I've never read the Bible. Uh, I don't know where to start. Danny and I tell people, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, start there. And somebody says, well, don't you want to start from the beginning and read up? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John tell the story of Jesus. If you can get through the story of Jesus and understand his life and why he came to this world and how he died and how he was resurrected and, and the, the whole lifestyle he lived, then you can go from there and start reading the rest of the Bible and picking up the back story and the, the beginning from Genesis on. And you can read the Revelations, which will give you the front story of what's coming. But Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they put it in chronological order. And I just think this is amazing. It puts all four of them, because they all four tell the same story a little different. Some of them don't go into as much detail on one thing. Some of them go into more detail on something. And it's amazing. So the chronological order of the life of Jesus Christ. I think that's awesome. It really is. So... If somebody would like to be able to read this story from beginning to end, it's in any Bible. This one just tells you chronologically, gets little commentaries and different things in it. And if you'd like this, let me know. I'm going to send this to somebody. Just write, hey, I've never read the Bible and I would like this. Or I have a friend that has never read the Bible that might help them. Um, I have a son, a, a daughter, whatever. Put it in the comments below somebody you would like to see have this book and we're going to just draw somebody and see who it is send them this book and hope that they get a blessing out of learning about the life of jesus christ so i've been with betty's box of blessings probably like i said three to four years probably close to four years and i love every every month getting something from betty and thomas and the gang at Betty's Box of Blessings. They're a blessing to me and they've been a blessing to others. I send out some of these cards to friends and they just love them. They love getting cards. I saw something on Facebook where somebody was talking about Christmas cards. <clears throat> people don't do Christmas cards anymore. This year I sent out a handful of Christmas cards to people because I won't get to see all of them at Christmas. Uh, with the way things are going, we may not get to go anywhere. Uh, our town is going crazy with the virus. My daughter's had it. My granddaughter's had it. Uh, I don't want my mom to get it. So we are really rethinking all of Christmas and what we're going to do. So I sent out cards for the first time. I send out one or two to special people every year. But this year, I sent out a few cards. And I love having these cards when the time comes for birthdays, sympathy cards, whatever, I, I, I've got them. Sometimes I just send somebody a card just saying, hey, <laughs> it's fun. Um, I wanna thank Betty and Thomas and the gang. And guys, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, get into the book, pick up a Bible. You can get them even, well, I say that, Usually, this time of the year, you can get them even at dollar stores for one to five bucks. They may have went up. I haven't done any shopping in a couple of years, so I really don't know. But you can go online to fairhopedirect.com, and you can order one. You can read it. And if you would like the chronological one, or you know somebody that would, comment below, guys. I'll talk to you later. Thank you from Crazy Days.